Hello, welcome, Cabin Chair. In War of the Visions, let's talk about El Shirel and Garble. I'm taking away from my precious near reincarnation farming time to do this, so I hope you appreciate it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> a bunch. These are probably going to be the last units before the first anniversary, uh, which a, uh, a lot of people are saving their vision ore for, which they should. There is a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, but both of these units are also very good, so let's have a look. And this is going to be a uh, great exercise in seeing how the Japanese people cannot say L's or R's. <laughs> Uh, but here's uh, Eru Shireru, or El Shirel. I do not use her a ton, but I think the people that will use her a ton uh, will be people with very strong light element accounts. Uh, I've skipped a ton of the uh, limited characters, uh, Ramza, Warrior of Light, all those guys, um, and then that's where uh, El Shirel here will shine when you're using her with other light element units. Also, uh, people with the Exorcist vision card, uh, she can equip that. I think uh, that will also make them want to uh, pull this character. If you have the uh, Exorcist vision card, especially if it's very leveled up, I think you want to look twice at every uh, Greatsword user. But in a nutshell, she is a uh, medium range attacker. Uh, she has very good damage. Uh, but a little bit of uh, tricky stuff here and there. We'll have a look at that as we go through her kit. Uh, but HP and attack are very good. Uh, agility is fine. Nothing uh, particularly interesting with her move or jump. And let's look at her uh, status next, her resistances. Uh, she has some pierce and projectile resistance, which is interesting. And then because she has the uh, spellblade subjob, she has hate generation. So she could be a uh, pierce or projectile uh, specific tank if you wanted to build uh, those resistances. Uh, but that's like some of the uh, the recent armor and accessories that we've gotten lately. Uh, so like the uh, Elven Mantle or the Bale Bargainet, stuff like that. Or you could use the uh, Final Fantasy IV armor. Yeah, stuff like that. And next we could look at our Trustmaster, I guess. Accessory, some accuracy, that's nice. Spirit, that's interesting too. And then uh, AoE buff will raise accuracy for your guys. I don't know if this is super necessary, but with EX jobs around the corner, I'm not going to recommend that people stop at 89 anymore, so yeah. <laughs> uh, and then let's look at the uh, unit. Oh, she got number two, didn't she, in the, uh, the fan vote. So all the people that voted for her, here she is. Hopefully you are happy. <laughs> And we can't see it here, but she has one of the cooler stances in battle in the game. Uh, she's like leaning back and then like holding the, uh, the greatsword up in the air, sort of like to counterbalance herself. It's pretty cool. Alright, that is a super dynamic action there. <laughs> Alright, let's look at her jobs. Uh, main job, Nightblade. And now we know that that is the uh, the day and night night, not the Knigget night. Uh, then we have the uh, Spellblade and Double Gunner. So let's go into her board and we'll look at her abilities. Uh, main job, Nightblade. First is a Drain Rush. This is a, a short range, uh, three hit skill. Uh, medium damage and then we'll drain a little bit. Uh, this will drain very, very little. <laughs> it will drain like a percentage of like just one of the hits, not the total of the three damage. So not a lot of uh, HP back at all, uh, but it's something. And then uh, this could be good for chaining. Uh, but if you put the Exorcist Vision card on her, she'll get greater range. And then I think more damage maybe, but yeah. Okay, then we have uh, Injury Sword. I think this has a different name in the uh, English. Uh, but this is maybe her best uh, ranged attack. Uh, but a little bit of range, a little bit of AoE, uh, medium damage again, and then we'll lower the efficacy of healing on those uh, units. This is one of her better attacks here. Not too expensive either for what it does. Alright, TP skill, uh, concentration, AoE. We'll raise the slash attack up, so that's good for like Ramza, uh, Thancred, all of his other uh, light slash attackers, Cecil and then we'll raise a defense penetration for herself, so that's good, that's very modern. Uh, Stunblade, another medium range attack, single target, 
Small damage has a chance to stun, so you could raise her uh, faith if you wanted to. And then a double resist. This is one of the keys to her, uh, but this will raise her pierce and uh, projectile resistance even higher uh, than it is already. And it is AoE, so you could give it to your uh, partners as well. And then uh, later, 9S, he will be the uh, handout unit for the, uh, the near collaboration. He has the Nightblade uh, subjob, and I really like it on him. I like these buffs that he gives himself. I like the multi-hit attacks. He doesn't have the uh, injury sword. Uh, but yeah, these are nice skills. I really should uh, use her more. And then let's look at the uh, subjob for Nightblade. AP Drain, that could be interesting, maybe in uh, manual play stuff. And then a short range AoE attack, uh, Spinning Rush will hit everybody for big damage. That might be her highest multiplier, so that's okay. All right, let's look at the uh, Spellblade subjob. Uh, here, I think if you want to go against magic users, maybe you want to use this one. Uh, but we got magic resist, magic barrier. Those are very nice uh, TP skills. Uh, a track spell, if you wanted to generate hate for her. Again, if you wanted to go against uh, projectile or pierce uh, or magic, you can build her for that too. And then a uh, Banish Blade and uh, Bio Blade. Uh, those are both uh, magic scaled attacks, so that's why I have those at level 1. Uh, but Bio Blade, that might have some um, utility against like tanks or like very high resistance uh, units. Okay, and then a Double Gunner Subjob. Uh, this will give her more sort of medium range uh, AoE stuff, so interesting ways to use this. Oh, here's a double shot. You could use that for chaining, maybe. I don't use this sub job a lot. She doesn't get any, like, a projectile uh, attack up. She's more of a slash attacker. Okay, and then for support abilities, here's the uh, Night Blade support ability. Uh, attack and accuracy up, uh, evade down. We don't care about the evade too much with her. Mm, what else we got? Uh, here's from the uh, Spellblade, that will raise Magic Resistance and Dark Resistance. You could even use that just for the uh, Dark Resistance, because that will give her the advantage on those units. Oh, here she has some uh, Projectile Attack up, you could use that. And then a uh, Tune Up, maybe you want this on her most of the time, but that will raise the Agility and then even more Defense Penetration. Uh, to have that on her all the time as a uh, support ability, that's very nice. That'll be good damage from her. And before I forget, I want to say that uh, later this month, when uh, Yuna comes to Global, uh, she is going to uh, dominate the meta for a bit. And then if you remember, I had some arena videos where I went hunting for her. Uh, the teams that I saw the most were like Yuna, Sakura, and then a tank, either Engelbert or Warrior of Light. Or it was Yuna, Erushireru, and then a tank. I didn't have problems going against Yuna and Sakura. I could use Rain, I could use Mariaru, I could get their magic resistance way up and then take those attacks and be fine. But it was going against uh, El Shirel here uh, where I ran into trouble because she can slice up uh, either Mariaru or Rain or Fravia probably when, uh, when Yuna comes. So if people were interested in using a mono light team, and they didn't have Sakura, then El Shirel here actually might be a very interesting uh, choice. And then El Shirel, she might be more attractive than, say, like Cecil or other uh, light slash attackers, uh, partly for the master ability, uh, because she has that new type that can buff the stats for uh, other light units. And then she also raised her own uh, pierce and projectile resistance, so yeah, accuracy too. So yeah, if you are a Mega Whale and you wanted to go for Yuna and Bahamut, uh, I can recommend El Shirel to you. <laughs> Alright, and then uh, Reaction Abilities. Here's a uh, Magic Guard. Uh, if she takes magic damage, she can uh, mitigate that. And then a Counter Swing. If she's hit with uh, physical damage, she'll counterattack with physical damage. I think I've unlocked all of the skills for her. No, she also has the, um, the uh, Predictive Fire, I think it is. I don't often like that because, for some reason, I keep hitting my teammates when I use that. Uh, but yeah, I've unlocked everything else. Okay, and then Limit Break. 
Goodnight Rumble. Uh, this is also one of her better uh, range AoE attacks. Big damage, again, that'll be one of her biggest multipliers. And then we'll lower the cost of her AP. So you can keep her running. That's pretty good. So I like her, but I think just because of my account, I don't use her a ton. She really wants to work with other light units, I think. Uh, but I have the Exorcist Vision card. Uh, this was almost instrumental to me uh, to get the clear of um, Tetrasilphid, the all missions clear. She was very uh, useful for that. Okay, but El Shorel, I think she's good. Nobody should feel bad about uh, pulling for her. Okay, next let's talk about Garble. He was kind of the uh, surprise hit, and he's still a big surprise. He's very, very strong. Uh, good lifespan, and he's also good in almost like all parts of the game. He's good at farming easy quests, uh, but also very high level PvP. Uh, maybe the tower, a uh, longer quest that take a longer time. Maybe he's not as good. He's really good in like uh, short uh, quests, but we'll talk about that uh, later. Uh, but Garble, he is a magic attacker. We can see very high magic there. Uh, pretty decent HP though, as well. He's kind of a bruiser attacker, and he wants to go to the front of the line, kind of similar to uh, Kirife. But he's really good. I pulled him on a whim. I just wanted a dark element magic attacker, and he was the first one to come out. So I was like, okay, I'll go for him. Uh, and he turned out to be awesome, so yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty fast too, as we can see there. Okay, let's look at his resistances. A little bit of physical resistances. That's good for a uh, magic attacker. Weak to magic, however. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And uh, Trustmaster here, this is one of the best in the game. Uh, another accuracy, gives you some defense and critical, whatever. Uh, but it's the skill here, it's a self buff. Uh, for three turns, we'll raise your magic by a very high amount. I can't remember uh, the exact number here, but it's very high. And then we'll also give magic resistance penetration, so you can put that on any magic attacker. Uh, this would be good for like MR and lower magic attackers as well, to get them maybe to UR level uh, damage. So yeah, that's, that's a good reason to get Garble there. Okay, and then main job is Energist, which is cool. I'm okay with that. Probably a Skybender would be uh, trademarked. <laughs> and then here is a Kotodama Tsukai. At first I liked this job, but I don't think I do anymore, uh, because too many of the skills in here have a casting time. Uh, the Energist does not have that problem, and neither does the, uh, the Red Mage subjob, so I've been using this a lot less. Uh, less on Garbo, less on uh, Sakura as well. Okay, but let's go into the board, let's look at the skills. Uh, Energist uh, main job. Ah, this is one of his best attacks. Maybe this is one of the best attacks in the game, actually. Uh, but very good range, a little bit of AoE, uh, magic scaled uh, damage for medium, and then 100% hit. So yeah, he is a good evade hunter. Kind of expensive, but yeah, it is worth it. Next, this is a short AoE attack, uh, but for super big damage, and also a super big cost. I don't know if I've ever seen him use this, because he's usually fighting guys from a little bit farther away, but that is an option. Okay, here is a self buff. This is very, very important for him. Uh, this will give him a uh, physical barrier uh, for three hits. And this is how he can take hits as he gets closer to the uh, physical attackers. And then most physical attackers, they don't have a lot of magic resistance, so he can do very well against them. If he is not using this in the beginning of battle, you're using him wrong. <laughs> Alright, this is very interesting. This is a magic scaled uh, projectile attack. And yeah, if you can go against guys that maybe have strong magic resistance, he can use this instead. Uh, go against their projectile resistance, maybe do more damage. Uh, but very low cost, lots of uses per battle. Low damage, but uh, he has ways to get that damage through. And then here, this is a movement skill, which is very interesting in tower, uh, maybe also in other uh, PvE content. Uh, but he can move to that place and then uh, raise his resistance to breaks, so that's very interesting. I don't use this, though, for uh, PvP, which is why it's off. Okay, let's look at the uh, sub-job. Uh, here is another magic scale projectile attack. This will hit two times, uh, so you could use him for chaining. 
maybe for uh, breaking barriers, maybe for raids. And then here is a TP skill, a ranged TP skill against enemies. That's very interesting. This will do don't move, uh, AoE, so interesting, but I almost never use this sub job. Uh, next, let's look at uh, Kotodama Tsukai. Uh, here is a TP skill. Uh, this will hit people around him, maybe do confuse. Don't use that too often. Uh, here is a short range attack. Uh, we'll do stun, but again, has a casting time. Uh, here is another short range attack. Uh, we'll do big damage, no casting time, so that's something. And then he'll also move uh, to that square. This could be good or bad, depending on how you want to position him. Okay, another AoE uh, TP skill. Uh, this will raise his magic attack, and then also give uh, spirit penetration to himself, uh, which is nice, but it has another casting time, so I don't like it. <laughs> okay, here's another medium range attack with 100% hit. Another casting time one. He has this instant cast 100% hit on his main job, so yeah, I don't know if you need this either. And then a self buff to raise his move and jump. Again, has a casting time, so I don't like it. <laughs> okay, and then finally we have the, uh, the Red Mage sub job. This might be the one that I use the most, uh, but sleep, that's fine. Jamming thrust, instant cast, long range, uh, big damage, and then not too expensive, and then many uh, casts per battle, so. Yeah, still one of the better attacks in the game. And then this can cancel uh, actions that are being charged. Uh, this is going to be useful against Yuna, who has a lot of casting time spells herself. And then later for like, um, you are Helena and stuff, so very good attack. And then Esuna, Kura, and uh, Dada. You can use these as you see fit, but... Esuna, that could be okay for tower. Uh, Cura, I've seen this used actually. Uh, when I went through uh, like top 30 of the arena, I saw some garbles built so that they would cast Cura. And so it would be like them, and then Helena with the calculator subjob, and one other person I forget, but it was like three healers on that team. It might have been Yuna. That was a super annoying team to fight, so yeah, that, that's an option for a garble. Okay, next let's look at uh, support abilities. Uh, this one, for the first five turns of battle, uh, will raise magic and uh, dexterity significantly, and also uh, agility. And this is one of the main reasons why he is good at short matches, not so good at long matches. Uh, but like if you're going through the tower, you could definitely take this off. That wouldn't matter as much. Okay, here, just a plain old magic attack up. And here's another magic attack up. You can uh, stack those together if you just want to get his magic up and you don't care about anything else. Uh, AP up. Uh, here is magic resistance up if you want to cover that uh, weakness of him. I would rather just not go against uh, magic users. <laughs> and then here, uh, spirit and then uh, light resistance up. This might be okay. Maybe especially if you want to go after uh, Yuna or somebody. And then reaction abilities, he's got some interesting ones here. This is a reflex for physical attacks, so if you want to take him against uh, physical attackers, I think this is a uh, shoo-in. He also has the magic resistance. I don't know if, why you want to take him against magic users. Again, maybe Yuna or somebody, uh, but this could be good, so. Between the barriers and then the two types of reflexes, he has some good defenses. He kind of has like a limited lifespan. The longer the match goes on, the more likely he is to go down, but yeah, he does have options to uh, stay up. And then here, if he takes damage, he will mitigate that. That comes from his uh, Kotodama Tsukai. I like the reflexes more. Okay, and then here's the uh, Limit Break. I like this, use this a lot, uh, but this is AoE, uh, that uh, line in front of him. It will raise his Spirit Penetration, so that could be good against maybe Magic Tanks do big damage, will break spirit, and then also uh, pierce. That means like if you're aiming for the third guy back there, it'll hit everybody uh, in front of him. Pretty good limit break. I should uh, level this up more. Okay, then master ability. This is another reason why he has such a long lifespan in JP, uh, but this will buff all of the uh, dark characters on your team. And I used him with uh, regular stern in order to really buff up Anton, uh, because buffing the dark attack of that will really help that. 
And I got good results out of that, so yeah. And then for himself, we'll raise uh, magic 20%, so that's pretty crazy. Yeah, but Garble, he's pretty great. He's one of the best investments in the game, I would say. When he gets EX jobs, he's going to be scary. He He's super competitive now, but he'll be scary later. <laughs> Alright, but there's Garble. Let's look at his animation. Did I say Skybender before? I meant Airbender. Either way, it'll be uh, trademarked. <laughs> Alright, but that was uh, El Shurel and Garble. Uh, both pretty good units. I don't think anybody should feel bad uh, going for them. Alright, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.